and we are back. It's very, very exciting. Today we have a full body workout. Every exercise is gonna be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, we'll have a preview box where you can see exactly what the next movement is, as well as a mod box just in case that moves a little bit too intense for you today. Every day is a little bit different. Make sure to listen to your body. Now, remember to go heavy as long as you can keep perfect form. We are here to get stronger and going heavy does not make you bulky. All right, let's get warmed up. All right guys, let's get warmed up. So go ahead, start it off by bouncing it out. Feel free to just step it out if that's best for you today. Three, two, one, and arms out into a T. We're gonna go with some small arm circles. So really reach with those fingertips and let's go the other way. Three, two, one, and now we're gonna kick across the body. So we're gonna to touch that opposite side hand. Really think about crunching. Yes. So we're going up those legs, getting that core as well. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, keep those feet out wide. We're gonna sink down side to side. Getting those inner and outer thighs getting those hips. So this movement, if you're super stiff, can be a little bit uncomfortable. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, and go ahead, shake it out. Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. Go with some butt kickers. Once again, feel free to step it out if that's best for your body today. Nice job, guys. So think about bringing the knees in front slightly so you can keep the booty behind you. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna go with the back lunge and then bring those arms up and then switch. Now, if lunges, full lunges aren't for you, you can always step back just a bit and still bring those arms up. So that is a modification we will be doing in this workout. So remember to listen to your body with where it is today. Every day is a little bit different. And we're here to take care of our bodies, make them stronger, but not beat them up too bad. <laughs> and let's go ahead and shake it out here. All right, jumping jacks. If you want to tap it out side to side, still touching those hands to the top, that is an option. shoulders. This is where I feel some crinkle crackles. <laughs> and go ahead, shaky shaky. All right, so let's stabilize on that right foot. From here, we're going to bring our left knee up, bring it around, tap the ground, and then bring it back. Now, if you need to, you can always modify and just bring it around like this. And if you have a stable surface where you can put your other hand, that is a good option for you. And then we're gonna go one more after this on this side. Whoop, and tap. And all the way back. All right, go ahead, shake it out. All right, other side. Now one side might be more challenging, don't be too surprised. Just take your time, try your best. I'm trying not to grab the floor with my toes. Tap and around. So this is really nice to get warmed up for that stability, that hip mobility, and that concentration in that core. All the way around, tap. We're gonna go one more after this. Starting it real nice and warm. Tap and tap. All right, shake it out. All right, guys, let's go with some regular squats. Keep that chest up. Push your butt back, sink down, and come up. Try to get to at least 90 degrees. Sink it and up. Let's go ahead, go three more. Last two and last one. All right, shake it out. We got one more, guys. 
We're gonna go with some skaters. If you need to, you can walk it out. You can tap and walk. Totally cool. If you're with me, you're gonna hop in, side to side. Try to stabilize, try to hover that back foot. Let's go for four, three, two, one. A little shaky shaky. <laughs> Let's get started. 15 seconds. We're going to start with a half curl to a curl. Go ahead and look at that preview and that modification box. I'll be using 15 pound dumbbells for this move. Rolling my shoulder blades back and down, palms facing up. Remember not to swing. All right, so half curl all the way down, full curl all the way down. So you want to make sure you are controlling that weight on the way down and up. This isn't a rush. If you want to do one at a time, you can. And I'm also keeping my core nice and strong. 20 seconds, guys. Making sure I'm not swinging the weights. Last 10. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so we are going to a body weight movement. This one is so much fun. So stick with the modification if you need to. I'm gonna have my feet out wide. I'm gonna place my right hand on the ground to start out with. Three, two, one. Place it down. I'm kicking. I'm kicking back. And then bringing it into a triangle. Left hand this time, left leg kicks out, kicks back, kicks out. Even if you need to repeat that in your head, kick out, kick back, kick out. And you want to make sure you're not collapsing down in that shoulder. So in this movement, we're really working the core. Actually, honestly, this is a full body movement. Core coordination, shoulders, triceps. Lots of glutes, up and up. All right, if you couldn't get that quite down, remember this is a video, rewind it, we're here to learn different ways to move our bodies, have fun while doing it. Okay, so 10 weighted high knees, squat touchdown next, I'll be using a 10 pound dumbbell. Okay, sink down, come up. So make sure when you do that squat touchdown, you still keep your chest up and your back flat. You want to be safe. And down. Up. Nice job, guys. And done. Okay, so we're gonna continue with cardio. You got four skaters, four jumping jacks. So for the skaters this time, to make it more challenging, of course, <laughs> I'm gonna tap the ground, but I need to make sure to bring my chest up in between reps. So down, up, up. Right now, so. Whew. 
remember which leg that you're on. This is really nice because we're getting, you know, quads, glutes. We're also getting the obliques, biceps. Using my 15 pound. Three, two, and done. Okay. Static lunge pulse and front kick. So whichever leg just went back, so my right leg went back, I'm gonna keep it back again. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to two 15 pound dumbbells. Okay, so pulse and kick. Pulse and kick. I like to go one, two, and back. If you only wanna go one, that's okay. We're really burning out that one side right now. <sighs> Back. Ten seconds, guys. Kick. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. Back lunge and chop. This time, the other side. It's water, I swear. <laughs> it is. Okay. And stop. Keep back in it, guys. It's warm in here. Or maybe it's just us. <laughs> Imagine if that was a compliment. Girl, you look so warm today. <laughs> Not quite hot, but definitely a greater temperature than cold. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's see what someone says when we compliment them with that. Dang, you're looking really warm today. <laughs> okay. You know it. You already know it. Let's do it, guys. So, back lunge and kick. If you feel a bit out of breath and you're like, this isn't cardio, yeah, but it's working legs, so. <laughs> nice job, guys. Remember to go heavy when you can. As long as you can keep perfect form. Woo! <sighs> Starting to feel like I'm on the edge of possibly getting a cold, so I'm gonna take it a little easier, but not too easy. Alright, so renegade row and push up as I grab the 30s. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cat. <laughs> Renegade row and push up. Okay, let's go. Now, the wider your feet are, the more you'll be able to stabilize. You want to try to keep your hips as straight as possible when you row. Keep your core strong and your glutes strong when you do push ups. Okay? Keep going. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. So, spider and a three legged dog. Once again, we're getting the obliques, getting the triceps, getting the core. This one's fun. I like it. Okay, hands on the shoulders. So, bring your knee to the outside. Bring it up, shift your hips up. Hands stay exactly where they are. It's a little yoga infusion. It's great because it's not only a strengthener, it's also a stretch for the hamstrings. Ten. 
Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, lats. Lats, feel it too. Okay. Alternating single leg deadlift and a row. I'm gonna grab my 15s. So I, can, I know I can do that safely. Slight bend in the stabilizing leg. Row and switch. Try to keep your hips and chest square as you can. Nipples when they work out. <laughs> so funny. Three, two, and done. Okay. <sighs> Oblique twist and clap under. So we're getting into cardio again. I'm going to keep my chest facing forward. I'm going to twist my hips to the side. Food, recovery, 
So make sure you're taking care of yourself outside of your workouts. <sighs> and done. Two punch burpee. I'm gonna keep my mat out. Oh, uh, water. So good. <laughs> All right. All right, my dudes. Burpee. Two punch burpee. Down. Up. Punch, punch. We are almost to the end. We're finishing out with some glutes. So, if you can, try to push because this is our last cardio move. Unless you repeat. Fifteen seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Okay. Glutes. Oh. You can use um a weight if you need to. <laughs> Gracious. Okay. okay, that's a little better for the footage. I have to get used to the sun is different during this time of year, so bear with me as I learn this. Woo! Alright, guys, let's go. <laughs> you can tell I'm a little tired when I'm not like talking. <laughs> Whew, keep it up, guys. Do you guys listen to music when you do this? Let me know. People are like, do you have a playlist? So I'm like, listen, my playlist is literally the same song on repeat. <laughs> like, my music is, eh, music taste isn't, isn't of that of a DJ. Three, two, oh, okay. Single leg hip thrust, last one, guys, last time. And then we are gonna stretch it out, which I'm excited about. Okay. All right, guys, get ready. Okay, let's go. Up, whoop, up, up. And there's a plane. Keep it up, guys. So close. Hopefully you're as sparkly as I am. <laughs> Finish it out. Mm. 
less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Done. All right, guys. So we are stretching. Go ahead and lay down on that back. This is going to beep again if I can get it. Um, if you do need to go, please do comment, subscribe, and like before you go. Let's grab onto that right leg. All of those things really help out my channel, the algorithm on my channel, so I can reach more people. <sighs> Just breathe here. If you find your left leg is too tight, you can always bend that knee in. Relax your traps. And go ahead. Bring that knee to the outside. I like to take my left hand on my left hip then to keep it down on the ground to get the most out of this inner thigh stretch. If you want a little bit more, what I have you do is press into this right knee as your right knee presses into your hand. So you'll feel an even greater stretch, which is really terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it is really great. <laughs> and go ahead, release. Maybe push down a little bit more. And then go ahead, very gently, because that might have been intense. Cross it over with the left hand. Right arm to the right, look over that right shoulder. And remember to breathe. Slowly bring it back to center. <sighs> Let's switch sides. Remember to relax the traps here. And go ahead. Bring that left knee to the left, right hand to the right hip and pull. Really just take a moment as you stretch here to be proud of yourself for showing up, for wanting to improve yourself. That is so wonderful. And pushing past discomfort helps us to grow into our most awesome selves. And let's cross it over. Oh, we actually don't. <laughs> so press the knee into the hand, hand into the knee. Keep breathing. You might feel a few shakies. <laughs> and then slowly release. Ah, and the twist. And go ahead and bring it back to center. Bring both knees in. Let's rock up to a seated position. Feel free to use your hands to do so. Let's come into a crisscross applesauce. Right arm, across, or right arm in front of the body, pull it back in its socket, and then across the body and pull. Remember, if you want a longer stretch, I did just make recently a full body stretch video. Go ahead and shake it out. Other side, pull. Go ahead and shake it out. Whee! All right, guys, we're gonna head into our mini meditation. It takes only a minute, it's guided. You get to relax, center yourself. If you do need to go, please again, like the video, comment, and subscribe. All right, palms facing up, nice tall spine, or you can lay down. Close those eyes if that feels right for you today. Nice big inhale through that nose, and exhale through the mouth. One more big inhale. Exhale through the mouth. And go ahead, go with whatever breath is best for you. Today we're gonna to think about something that maybe we hold to a higher standard than we need to. Is it how we feel we should look? Is it how we feel we should be eating? Is it how we feel we should be working out? All these shoulds. 
And take a moment to question it and put it on trial and ask yourself, does it need to be that perfect with whatever definition of perfect I have for myself? Or for others, maybe you have expectations for them that they're not meeting. Does it need to be that way? Can you release that grip that you have on those expectations just a little bit? Or a lot of it? We create our realities. We create our feelings. And we can decide if we want to keep on living those realities the way they are right now. Or if we want to change them. Let's go ahead, big inhale. Think of that thing that maybe you want to let go of. And exhale, feel your body and your mind release. One more big inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, slowly open those eyes. Clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. We are done for today. We did it, you guys did it. We completed our full body workout for the day. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. It's so wonderful to be back with you. Let me know in the comments below how it went for you, how you're feeling today. And if you can't think of anything else, feel free to put an otter emoji, because I love otters. Uh, rather than that, if you guys do love my outfit, it's from Women's Best. They are currently having a Black Friday sale, so their stuff up to 70% off, and now is the time to shop for affordable clothes that make you feel good and that function so wonderfully while you work out, or maybe when you're just even out and about, which I do all the time. And I do have a support link down in the description that you can use. It supports me while you shop, and I would so, so greatly appreciate it. All right, rather than that, I will see you guys soon. We're gonna have another new workout next week, and and yeah, have an amazing rest of the day. Let go of the things that no longer serve you. And I will see you soon. Rock.